when TJ Watt tied Michael Strahan in the se single season sack record with 22 and a half, he made a joke that he went on his phone to see if he actually broke the record. And this is a report that he got after the NFL on it, actually. According to TJ Watt, the NFL fined me for a joke of using my phone when I thought I broke the sack record. To me, this is an app he was fined $10,000. This, this is what I don't like about the NFL. I'm, I love the sport, but I don't like the fact that every time someone is going to do something, like C.D. Lamb got fined for waving, where Josh Allen did the same thing, didn't get fined. All T.J. Watt did was put, made a joke that I looked at my phone to see if I broke the record, and they fined him $10,000. Like These are ludicrous numbers for fines that make no sense at all. Like a wave, you're gonna find CD Lamb. You're gonna find him because his socks are too low. His jersey's out. You know, it just makes no sense. Find somebody for, re for realistic points. If you have a penalty, like for example, like there's a hold on the offense and it's on the guard, the guard should be fined at the end of the year. That makes sense. However, if there's a fact that a jersey's untucked and the receiver doesn't tuck it back, it's like that's a penalty. That's a that's a, that's a penalty in terms of my bank account. That makes no sense at all. It's the l most ludicrous thing in the NFL is the fact that we're fining people. Because their socks are too low, their jersey is out, because they're waving, and then because they make a joke about something. Like, but then the, the crazy thing is, you see a lot of other athletes that don't get fined. In fact, Josh Allen didn't get fined. Tom Brady, this is how Tom Brady would wear his jerseys. Tom Brady would alter his jersey. So his jersey is supposed to go past his pants and you're just supposed to tuck it in. Tom actually cuts the bottom off and rolls it up a little bit so it's more like near his waist. So he just has to put it on over. So it's like cut apart and then the bottom part is like rolled up and, and stitched together. So, at the same time, I get it that you want to help those people, but Tom does the same, Tom did the same thing for his entire career. You can't blame everyone for everything. It doesn't bother anyone. It, if it doesn't bother him, it shouldn't bother you. That's all I'm saying. The Saints, offensive coordinator, cut... Michael will remain the offensive coordinator moving forward. There was thought that he could be on the move because when you have new coaches, that could happen. But Dennis Allen knows he's been there on who, how great of a coach Carmichael is, so it makes sense for him to stay. The Viking, uh, excuse me, the Falcons have released Devonte Dante Fowler. Now look was rumored that he could go to Dallas. Me, it has to, if I'm Cowboys, I look at this as like one year deal, prove it deal, and I need a little salary and little bonus. Like you take like the Delonte KZ deal, where it's low, remarkably low, and you just take it. That's what I do. The Vikings introduced new head coach, Kevin O'Connell, and said he is confident in Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is in the last year of his deal. Who knows what could happen. But if I'm Kevin O'Connell, 
you have to figure out what are we going to do in terms of plays. Are we going to depend on Dalvin Cook like we've done the last two, three years? Are we going to depend on our wide receivers, Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson? And another quote that O'Connell did say is, We want Kurt to be a big part of what we do. Makes sense. Now, don't read too much into this. The Colonels have released Malcolm Butler from the reserve slash retired list. This does not mean they've released Malcolm Butler. This means they've taken him off the reserve slash retirement list. That's all this means. This doesn't mean anything. Now, due to the fact that his contract was only a one year, and that he did retire, he's not on contract anymore. So, technically, he did get released, but it was only a one year deal anyway. So, he's not really released. He's just a free agent. But he's taken off the reserve slash retired list for the Arizona Cardinals. 